Hello, I'm Cameron Reeves and welcome to Panther Paws. Believe it or not, teachers have hobbies outside of the classroom. Ethan Piles went to ask them about some of the things they do. Contrary to popular belief, teachers actually do have lives outside of school. We talked to some teachers about what they do after 310. After school, I am a part-time karate instructor and I'm also a black belt which means that after school my hobby is to break things and kick people and punch people and that's kind of fun. Well outside of school I like to do a lot of different things. I play basketball, I, I, most of the time I play with my kids, play crazy stuff like with Beyblades, you probably don't know what that is but I play, I'm, I'm the champ at Beyblades in case any one of y'all want to try something because I got some in my classroom with a whole arena. Um, I also like to, I like to read, oddly as that may sound. Uh, my daughter plays basketball at Grissom, so we do, a, we do a lot of stuff in the weight room with her. And I just like to have fun. I play roller derby. Uh, I play flat track roller derby with the Dixie Derby Girls, which is a team here in Huntsville. I've also been hurt myself. I now have a beautiful scar on my face from someone's pads ripping a hole in it. We try not to hurt each other because we're a team. My derby name is Blood Bathory, which is a historic reference. Teachers' lives aren't so dreary and rainy after all. This has been Ethan Piles with Panther Paws. The first semester of the school year is coming to a close, and we all know what that means, exams. Zach Sears wants to ask for some public opinion about these dreaded tests. Feeling puzzled about exams this year? No worries, the Huntsville High team got you covered. We went around the school and asked people what they did to study for these mind-boggling exams. So I would probably uh, just rewrite my notes or um, probably take some practice tests and look over uh, my other tests that I've taken before. Uh, I work on some homework problems that were challenging before and we worked on um, uh, backwards and forwards so I also watched some videos online to help like Khan Academy stuff like that for physics I would look up a physics like tutorial video because sometimes it's good to hear from other perspectives of how to teach how certain teachers teach and one make sure that you have all of the materials that you were provided um, throughout the semester notes notes from the class um, uh, activities, calendars, assignments, study guides, and then organize those materials in the order in which you learn the information. Go over that information, pay in particular attention to the parts that you did not master the first time. And then you want to get some, some help with that. Get with your buddies in the class or go and talk with the teacher to make sure that you have an understanding of this information the second time around. There are no tricks or magic spells to being successful. Being successful is truly um, making a plan and working the plan. I remember, no stressing and it'll all be okay in the end. This is Zach Sears from Panther Paws. As basketball season's opening, we asked the girls' head coach for her expectations on the coming season. I think because we have so many people coming back from last year's squad that contributed, uh, we are definitely thinking state championship. We know we got a long way to go, but that's the goal. Um, right now we're 8-1 and one and we play some pretty good competition. We're getting some people some playing time and some experience that they need to help us in the long run. So the goal is to win the state championship this year. All three seniors have signed. Um, Nakia Burke signed with the University of Tennessee Chattanooga. Tanasia Hill signed with the University of Tennessee Martin and Shakira Wade signed with the University of Alabama. It's been Cameron Reeves with Panther Paws. Thanks for watching Panther Paws. I'm Cameron Reeves. Have a nice week.